Pickle, let's go to the hotline. There are scant few teams that remain across the state of Texas with a zero in the loss column, but one of them has got a big game this week. We go to the hotline to be joined by the head coach of the undefeated Jacksboro Tigers. It's Coach Casey Hubble. Coach, how are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Thank you. How about y'all? Doing excellent. How are things? Uh, how are things up there in beautiful Jack County? Man, it's the center of the world, and uh, <laughs> things are going good. Um, just happy to be where we're at, and uh, you know, n- not satisfied. We want to, we want to go do it again. You guys have an opportunity to 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 make some history there in in Jacksboro. You guys are already off to uh, you you know you've got your most wins in a season. Uh, is since 1969. Um, I'm interested in when you felt like this team had a chance to do something special. You know, when <clears throat> when I was at, at leaving Canton and thinking about coming home, mm-hmm. um, I had a chance to meet, you know, the kids before I took the job. Um, I had talked with Brandon Rogers. Uh, we, we were friends. And he said that um, – you know, that there was a good group of kids coming and there were several groups. And, um, you know, I'd hoped at that point that that it would be a possibility. Um, But really, you know, once I got here and uh, got my staff together and, um, you know, I I don't really know when it was, I guess. Uh, We knew we had skilled kids that that could play at a high level uh, with, you know, our quarterback at the end of the year and and our skilled kids coming back and, um, we knew that if we could get our offensive line uh, in a position to be able to 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 be good, uh, we had a chance to to make a pretty good run. And um, yeah, just just kids have done a good job. They've done an unbelievable job, including last week with that uh, that heart stopping overtime win uh, over Holiday, forty nine forty eight. Probably probably the game of the week across the state of Texas. I want to go back to overtime. You guys score on a fourth down play in the back of the end zone uh, to pull you guys within one in your possession of overtime. Can you take me through the decision to go for two in the win in in that in that moment? Yeah, <clears throat> you know whenever. Uh, we, I won the flip, so we chose to go, I chose to go, uh, second, obviously that's, that's what you do. Um, they went down and scored pretty quickly. Um, I believe it was about, you know, the second they scored, um, and they decided to kick a field goal, you know, it had been a shootout all night, our offense, their de- you know, their offense defenses had, had struggled all night and, um. I just figured at that point, uh, whenever we started that series, I just said, uh, we're going to go for two whenever we score here. So let's get our best two point play together. And, um, you know, we, we struggled and fourth down, uh, Lando spins out of a tackle and finds Casey Ray in the back of the end zone. And, um, we just rolled with it. It was, it was time to (laughs) either make it happen or, or be done, and and we believe that that we could make it happen. Casey Hubble, head coach at Jacksboro, join us here at Texas Football today. Coach, the guy at the at the center of that play, and the guy at the center of your offense has been your quarterback, Lando Belcher, a guy who was very good for you guys last year. But it seems to me, and certainly correct me if you think I'm wrong, it certainly seems like he's taken that next step in his development. What have you seen as far as growth is concerned from your QB one? Yeah, he's <clears throat> he's continued to get better. Um, but honestly, he was really, really good last year also. Um, I just think we've developed as a team better. I think we're better, um, at everything. You know, last year was our first year in the program. Um, we, we had some spots that we struggled with that, that, uh, that kind of held us back a little bit as far as an offense, being able to, uh, do what we've done this year. And I just think, uh, the, familiarity us being able to go through off season um you know he's a very competitive kid he's an unbelievable shortstop point guard in basketball uh does a great job in everything he does um i just think it's time and um understanding the offense exactly where the ball needs to go and then whenever you uh, add our running game in and um you know us being able to run the ball that much better you know, I think it just opened up our passing game. I think our passing game opens up our run game. Um, it's, it's just all kind of worked out. And um, he's just continued to, 
progress like a quarterback in the same system does that that is a senior and um he's just done a great job you mentioned the 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 running game and you you know you guys have have gotten a a breakout year from from your running game as well as um you know with as well as i i want to give some credit to the offensive linemen i mean the the offensive line has has held up in a big way i know you guys were pretty uh pretty senior heavy you know you had had a number of returning starters from last year's team um, what can you tell us about this offensive line that has you going? Because I know they never get any credit. Yeah, they, they've done a great job. Uh, we, we did have, I think, three guys that came back uh, that were on our offensive line last year. Uh, we moved a little bit around, um, you know, moved in another kid that's a senior that had just played defense last year that now plays both ways and Josh Ward. And then we had a sophomore who really, who really grew up and has done a great job in Glendon Rodriguez. And, um, you know, you add him in with Pecos, our center and, uh, um, Wade Treadway and, uh, Jet Davenport. Uh, those guys were the returners and, um, you know, Jet, he struggled all last year with a, he had double hip, hip impingements and <clears throat> couldn't move very well at all. And, uh, got him healthy in the off season and he had surgery on both hips and, um, you know, has just moved so much better and has, has done a great job. And, um, uh, yeah, those offensive linemen, you know, that we want to, we want to win the line of scrimmage and, and that's where it starts, whether you want to throw the ball or run it. And in our case, we want to do both and, um, they've done a great job. Our coaching staff has done a great job. And, um, you know, lastly, our kids and our community, uh, have just bought into what we're trying to do, and it, it it's worked. Uh, on the defensive side, uh, Coach, you know, you got into a shootout last week against a high-powered holiday team, uh, but your defense has has held more than held its own this year as well. You know, one of the guys who who it really seems like is 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 the heartbeat of your defense is Cannon Valenzuela, a guy who who seems to be seems to have a nose for the football every every time he he goes out there. This is a young defense. Has this defense surprised you in any way? Um, I don't know if I'd say surprised. Uh, we, we felt like we were going to be able to put a lot of speed on the field. Um, Cannon has done a great job. You know, he's he's probably a linebacker that could play defensive end, that plays free safety, and uh, does a great job in, in everything. Um, we had we moved our middle linebacker last year, and Jackson McComas, one of our main leaders of our team, uh, we moved him down to defensive end, and he has done a great job of of um, anchoring that defensive line and, and give us some really good um, production at defensive end. And then, uh, you know, we've, we've just got some speed on the field that we feel like has helped us a lot. And, um, you know, there have been times where we've played really good defense. And then, you know, like against the Bells, against Bells, you know, we, we, we didn't make very many mistakes at all and held them, you know, I think eight times on fourth down. Um, and then last week, you know, it was a struggle and, you know, I think, you know, matchups are huge in high school football. And uh, that's something that, you know, being in this business, I've really figured out is, uh, you know, unless you can just dominate an opponent, um, you know, one week, you know, the matchups are in your favor and another week, the matchups aren't. And um, uh, we've got to do a better job of making adjustments to where we can get stops when we figure out what teams are trying to do to us. But, uh, yeah, really proud of our defense. You know, they you, we gave up way too many points last week, but you know they had a chance with just a few minutes left to to put the game away, and uh, we get to stop and make them punt and get the ball back and uh, on the the five yard line and uh, give our offense a chance. And our offense does what they do. You know, we went ninety five yards and scored, and then got the two point conversion to to tie it up. So uh, just proud of our team. Uh, the Tigers are through to the fourth round of the playoffs for the first time since they won the title back there in 1971. Um, I, I'm curious, as as an alum, this was a homecoming for you. Uh, you had a good job there in Canton, uh, but 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 the home home came calling. Uh, Mama came calling, as they say, and uh, and 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 you came home. How special is it for you personally to be to be doing this and making this kind of history uh, there at, at your alma mater? Oh, it's great. Um, the, you know, the community has been unbelievable. Um, you know, it's always great when you can uh, come whenever you can win um, and, and, you know, and people believe in what you're doing. Um, it's a little more special because I went to school here and, 
you know, know some, know quite a few people. It's changed a lot since I was here, but, um, yeah, it's, it's special. And, uh, you, you always want to be able to do it. Uh, now we, we just got to keep it going and try to get another one. Uh, speaking of another one, coach, uh, it is going down, uh, tomorrow night, seven o'clock at CH Collins stadium in Denton. You guys will get a matchup with another 13 and 0 team. Uh, the gunner tigers. Uh, I am, I, I'm not going to ask you to give away, uh, everything in the game plan, but when you take a look at what you're going to be up against tomorrow night, uh, I'm interested in what you see. Yeah, they're, they're, a, they're a really good program. Um, uh, they do things at a, at a really, really high level. Um, they've got excellent kids and you know great athletes all over the field but they're coached really really well also um yeah we got a challenge ahead of us uh, we're not gonna uh, pretend like they're not supposed to be number one um you know they back to back champs and trying to do another one and uh we're just excited about the opportunity to get to play them again uh we got them last year uh we were disappointed that we ended up being the two seed last year and um you know, that meant you got them in round two mm -hmm. and, you know, kind of what we said as a, as a program and as a staff is, uh, you know, we want to play them again. We just don't want to do it in round two. <laughs> we wanted to do it this round and, um, you're just glad to get that opportunity. You know, if you want to, if you want to be the best, which is what the playoffs are set to determine, uh, you're going to have to beat the best. And, um, right now they hold that. So, uh, uh, we're just glad to get a shot and an opportunity and uh, look forward to the challenge. He's Casey Hubble. He's the head coach of the 13-0 and Jacksboro Tigers in action tomorrow night in Denton as they take on the undefeated number one Gunner Tigers. Coach, we sure appreciate your time. Congratulations again on all your success so far, and go get them tomorrow night. Thank you, sir. There he goes. Jacksboro head coach Casey Hubble joining us here on Texas Football Today. Uh, excited to see that that showdown because that was a heart stopper last week against Holiday. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I, I think I made it on on. Um, yeah, it was our game of the week. Game of the week, an unbelievable play. Now Lando Belcher, he's a baller. Mm -hmm. He's a baller. They got some players on that team that are they're explosive. And um, Gunner's your favorite. I think he coach kind of more or less said as much. He said we're not going to pretend they're not the number one team for a reason. Mm -hmm. um, but keep an eye on Jacks, bro. That's a dangerous. That's a dangerous team with some big time playmakers. Uh, and if things break their right, they're going to be right in that ball game and can can make Gunner sweat. So keep an eye on that one. We appreciate Jacks, bro. Head coach Casey Hubble hopping on with us. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you would like more and to be notified when they come out, go ahead and click that subscribe button right down there. You can also watch Texas Football Today every day live at noon on TexasFootball.com, Facebook, Twitch, and right here on YouTube. For more of the best coverage of Texas football in the Lone Star State, go to TexasFootball.com slash subscribe.